hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm glad you have chosen to watch this video and I hope you're gonna enjoy my style of explaining things if you do enjoy the video please give a like and subscribe and also uh, click the uh, bell icon if you want to see more content like this um, so yeah today we are solving yet another problem from lead code we're going to have an easy one and it is called intersection of two arrays and they say given two arrays write the function to compute the intersection and let's see what they mean by intersection they say for example nums1 equals 1 2 2 1 and nums2 being 2 2 the output would be an array with just 2 in it and what what do we get from this is that the intersection is actually the element that is common to both the arrays but only once because as you can see you have two elements two here and two elements two here but in the output is only once and also you don't have any one so basically the intersection is just the numbers that repeat in both in both arrays but only once not as many times either as they repeat for example in 495 and this one the output is 94 because you have 9 and 4 and 9 and 4 and 9 and 4 and as you can see they are only once in the output each element in the result must be unique as as we have already discussed and the result can be in any order so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the starting function and um, what we're going to say uh, first they say that they should they should be unique so i'm going to get one of the arrays and form a set out of it and a set in javascript is basically a collection of values where each value is unique and you can actually create a you can create a set from an array that you have and when you create the set out of that array is going to make all the values appear just once in the set now a set is not the same thing as an array so if you're going to need it as an array after you're going to have to transform it back to an array by spreading it so i'll show you what i mean we will say uh, const unique equals and we're going to say and that's how you uh, that's how you uh, create a set you say new set and if you want to create a set out of an array we're we're going to have to pass the array so i'm going to pass the nums1 array so we have created a set so let me just console log the set uh, so you can see how it looks right and I'll just call intersection I will console log actually I will just call it because I have a console log here so I will call the function with these two values this one and this one okay uh, and I'm having an issue here because this needs to be closed here, right? So let me bring out a terminal, new terminal. I'm waiting for this, okay? And what we will say is, let's. Uh, what we will say is not intersection. Let me sh make sure I save here. So yeah, we run this and as you can see a set, it basically shows you a set and it uh, it shows you the size of the set here and you can actually uh, access the size of a set instead of uh, accessing it like you access for an array and you say uh, array that length to get the length for the size of an array you get it with that size, right? But we don't need it now. We just need to create from, from the array that we have uh, the only um, collection of unique elements and now I need it to be back uh, to to be uh, back to an array because for example if if this was um, if this was with another one as you can see because they, they were already unique element here but if there was another one here you can see that the elements in the set are still um, let me clear this are still the same right no matter how many fours you are in the set is just gonna be one four right so how how can you transform it back to an array by just saying uh, uh, 
an array and you basically spread the set in and when you spread a, a set in an array it's just uh, it's just gonna spread the elements of the set in the array so if I do that now you can see that now we have an array so what we're going to say we're going to basically run through all the elements of the unique elements of the first array and we're going to say for each of these elements if index of this element in the other array is not equal to minus one then we're going to keep it because it means there they appear in both arrays but if uh, index if nums2 index of any of the elements in here is minus one it means it didn't find it so it doesn't exist so it doesn't exist in both arrays so then we're not going to keep it we're going to keep just the common elements right so first we have uh, transform a nums1 to only have unique element right in unique and what we're going to say we're going to say return and as i said i need to transform this set into an array so i will say unique I don't need this and then I will say filter and how am I filtering it like I said filter so that I have item I item is going to be I, I do have a, a video explanation about um, about the filter method so I will link it here in case you don't know how to use filter so go and watch that now if you need it uh, and then you can come back after because I'm not going to explain filter here so what we're going to say for each item in this array uh, we're going to filter so uh, we're only going to return back the elements for each for which uh, nums2 index of item is different than minus one which this means if uh, which this means if nums one index of item is minus one it means the element from this first array doesn't exist in the second array as well so we're not, not going to keep it in the return array right so we're only going to keep the ones for which uh, the index is not minus one which means there is actually an index which means it exists in the second array as well right so let's copy this And again, if you don't know how to use the index of method, I will also link a video that I made about that method here. Uh, so let's try this. And run code. Uh, two, two, output one, two, expected two. Okay, so let's see what the problem is. Where did we make the mistake? New set of nums one, filter, returns, different than minus one uh, we did make a mistake somewhere here so let's see which is the mistake filter items uh, nums index of oh so yeah th the mistake is here because we, we went in nums one and checking in nums one but we actually have to check in nums two because nums one we used it here we have to check in the secondary that's my mistake right so let's try this again Okay, works and submit and it works right we can make this short by not using this constant and just using this in here like this instead of using a constant we can just put it here like this and just say uh, return this right so let's copy this check again and obviously worse because it's the same thing just shorter and um, yeah it works so yeah I hope you learned something from this one uh, using a set is very useful if you need to have unique elements of an array filter is very useful and index of is also very useful so you don't if you don't know those methods Please watch those videos or watch any video on YouTube uh, 
if uh, some other videos are more your style but uh, yeah go and watch them so yeah if you did enjoy this video please give a like subscribe it does help me with the youtube algorithm and i'm trying to grow the channel so if you if this video helped you and you learned something please give a like subscribe and if you do want to see more of my content you have to also click the bell icon which means that uh, youtube will notify you when i'm uploading more videos all right i'll see you next time have a good one bye bye